go. Hi, I'm Dr. Nancy Peterson, and I am going to work with Chance today. We're going to talk about home dental care and how important and vital we think that is to their overall health. Um, Chance is a 12-year-old Shetland Sheepdog, and you're going to be able to see from his mouth what long-term dental care does and how much healthier it keeps the mouth. The big thing to remember is that brushing the teeth is a preventative measure. It is not something once there's a disease in the mouth that will cure the mouth. What age do we want you to start? We want you to start when they're very, very young. Uh, at that point in time, what we want you to do is just get them used to you being around their mouth. Uh, remember at the puppies and kittens when they're young at about eight uh, weeks of age will definitely want to chew on you a little bit. So the first thing we want you to do is just kind of get them used to you being around their mouth, rubbing around their mouth, kind of tickling along the, the gum line a little bit so that, that it's not such a weird thing for them. Again, they're probably going to want to chew on you, so a lot of them have this little built-in handle, especially the dogs, where you can hang on to their mouth a little bit, just very gently restrain while they get used to you being around the mouth. When they start losing their baby teeth right around four months of age, from four to six is a good time to probably not be working around their mouth so much because it is a little bit tender and we don't want them to ever think that this is going to cause them discomfort or pain. Anytime we're doing something that the dogs may not be crazy about or the cats may not be crazy about, we want you to follow it with something positive so they get a good association with that. So a lot of verbal praise, wow, what a great dog you were, Chance, after we brushed your teeth, uh, following it with some uh, small food reward. In my household, my dogs are very food motivated, so I do the opposite with my dogs and cats that I do with my kids, and I give them food right after they brush their teeth, and they find that to be very, very motivating. My dogs also really like the toothpaste that we use, so a lot of times just a lick of the toothpaste from the toothpaste um, um, tube is a positive reward for them also. So once you've, you've got them used to you working around their mouth so that that is not a big deal for them, a lot of times what we'll have you do is just start rubbing along the gum lines. You can either do it with a, a little uh, a washcloth or we do have some products that are pads, kind of like Stridex pads that you can wrap around their finger to work on your way back there. We do want you to eventually work your way up to using a soft toothbrush, okay? This is one that I like very, very well because it's got a nice long handle because the one thing a lot of people don't realize is that they look at a dog's mouth and see the teeth and they look very nice, but the dogs have several teeth back behind there. In fact, where this large molar is, there are a couple more teeth back behind that. So you have a long ways in their mouth that you need to reach to be able to get all the teeth cleaned properly. And again, Chance is a 12, almost a 12-year-old dog. You can see what routine brushing and routine professional cleaning does for a dog um, for keeping their mouth healthy. And we also find that the dogs that they keep their mouth healthy and the cats generally live a significant uh, time longer. Some dogs they feel in some reports up to two years longer if we can keep their mouth healthy. It's also much, much more pleasant when they're breathing in your face and licking you in the face when they have a nice clean mouth. So with the brushing, <clears throat> once they're used to you being in their mouth, we do want you to use a dog's toothpaste. Um, human toothpaste is not meant to be swallowed. It can be irritating for their stomach. Um, also, it's baking soda is very high in sodium. For especially some of our older pets, that high sodium content is not good. Hydrogen peroxide is something that other people have thought about using, but it's very harsh on the teeth, and if they consume enough of it, can actually cause them to do some vomiting. So we do want to, and you can see from this, Chance <laughs> likes this toothpaste. Um, the the uh, most important part of brushing the teeth is actually the mechanical brushing, where with us as people, they talk a lot about which toothpaste is the best. What we feel is the toothpaste uh, is more a delivery tool to get the brush in the mouth. I like you to pick one that you don't mind the smell of and the one that the dogs like the taste of. As you can see with this one, uh, Chance actually likes this one quite well. So when you're doing the brushing, what you want to do is you want to angle the toothbrush at about a 45 degree angle, okay? And I like to start in the back. As you can see from the head of this toothbrush, it's quite a ways back there. And what I do is I'm holding the mouth mostly closed when I do this. The, the, uh, the brushing should be primarily concentrated on the outside of the teeth and not on the inside where the tongue is. That area does not, is not as severely affected with a dental disease. So at a 45 degree angle, and I want you to count at least to six on each area before you, you move the toothbrush. I try and go in a more circular fashion. 
uh, with it so I'm getting all the surfaces of the tooth. Okay. The only place where having the mouth closed is a problem is back on these molars in the back. You get some overlap so you can't reach the back teeth. So what I will do is I will roll a lip in just a little bit here so that he pops his mouth open a little bit so I can reach and brush these lower molars. Good boy. What a good man you are. Now Chance is used to this, so obviously he's going to hold a little more still than a lot of dogs as you first start. We do want this to be something that you do on a daily basis. One of the problems that we have that people brush um, don't realize how frequent they need to do it to make an impact on their overall dental health. We really feel that you need to do it at a minimum of three times a week to make a difference in their dental health. Um, and with that, uh, when you're brushing, there are certain areas that we do really want you to concentrate on. Again, these back teeth, back here on these molars. Chance is going to show them off a little bit here. These back molars, okay? And again, boy, you can see me brushing. There's two teeth back behind that, so you have to get far enough back there to get to those. And then also around these incisors, a lot of times we have some problems here. Um, the tongue does a pretty good job. Well, along with the enzymes from the saliva, of keeping the inside of the mouth clean. I do brush the inside of my dog's teeth also, but I spend 80% of the time brushing on the outside uh, with them. And again, we need to do it at least three times a week. Really, my goal is to do it on a daily basis. I'm pretty good about getting it done at least five times a week. The thing to remember with brushing the teeth on the dog is it is still vitally important to have them clean professionally. Just like you and I, we brush our teeth, we floss, at least we always tell the dentist that we do, but we still need to have them cleaned periodically, and our dogs do too. So together we can work together to improve the, the oral health of our pets and help them to live longer, health, healthier lives.